Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your premier source for Second Amendment news. Before I jump into this one, which is going to make people go cuckoo again, I think, uh, I want to thank uh, Gun Pro Deals. That's what their former name is. They are now Gun Zone Deals. Just want to make sure everybody's aware of that. Uh, and uh, the process of the website and all that stuff changing over is ongoing. Uh, but Gun Zone Deals, thank you for helping make the news possible. And uh, they are running some pretty cool deals on these two shotguns from Garisar. Uh, the first one is the Fear 103T, and that is an AK-style shotgun. Pretty darn cool. The second one is the Fear 109, and that is the 20-inch uh, bullpup shotgun. It's a pump shotgun. Check them out. The prices are pretty cool. Uh, thank you, Nate, for your support. It is very much appreciated. Now, let's get into today's news. Uh, this is coming off of yesterday's video that was informing people of a lawsuit launched against SIG this month. Uh, regarding their P320 series pistols. I got a lot of questions and a lot of comments in there that I thought I would address real quick while I tell you about another lawsuit on the same firearm that they are in the process of settling, which if you are an owner like myself, you probably want to know about because I wasn't aware of it, uh, and it definitely will affect you if you own one. So let's move into uh, addressing some of the comments or questions that were brought up yesterday. This is not fear-mongering, okay? I know other people might think it's fear-mongering, but what I'm doing is telling you all that there has been a, a couple issues that are still going on with a firearm that a lot of people really enjoy. A lot of people love. I own two 320s. I own five Sig Sauers. I'm not trying to, to smear the company, but what I'm telling you is at least how I think. If I'm carrying something on me every day, and I want it to make sure to that it is going to be reliable, I don't want it to go off on its own and risk injuring myself or one of my kids or somebody else, okay? So I thought I'd bring you that information because there are a lot of people that are out there that own them. And even if you still, I get a lot of people, oh, mine has never had a problem. I got all kinds, of, like I said yesterday, but it happened. People still made those comments, which is fine. If you love that gun and you're still gonna carry the gun, no problem. But what I just want you to think of is that there are still issues and there is no way to tell which one of those firearms right now can is one of the problems. Um, so, especially for the ones that didn't go through the voluntary upgrade program, but some of the, the incidents and injuries cited in that lawsuit I spoke about yesterday had the upgraded trigger, which was enough for me to say, All right, people should probably know about this, maybe I can help get the word out. If you think that's fear-mongering, so be it. But uh, if you still choose to wear yours every day, fine. Uh, but all I will say is that I'm sure the people who got hurt while their gun went off thought that that gun was fine as well. For me, just a little unsafe, and I, I just want to see how this shakes out and what SIG says, uh, which actually one of the comments in yesterday brought me to, brought my attention to this other lawsuit that they're in the process of settling right now. The other lawsuit uh, was kicked off by over 100 plaintiffs, and it is a class action lawsuit specifically regarding the SIG P320 and the issues they have uh, with, with drop safety and going off uh, without people pulling the trigger. Um, and, uh, so it's not just me guys. I mean, they're, they're settling lawsuits. It's gotta be legitimate. There are hundreds of people that are reporting issues. Yeah. There's always that possibility to user error, right? But this grand of a scale and some of them are actually on video where it's just in the holster and goes off, gives cause for concern, reasonable doubt. It's not a smear campaign. <laughs> just use your brain. All right. If you choose to ignore this and still wear it, fine. Great. Doesn't bother me at all. I just hope that, God forbid, you get hurt. Uh, because I don't want this to happen to anybody. Never mind uh, somebody who watches the channel, okay? Uh, so this lawsuit is in the process of settling right now. Uh, I think they had to go in front of the court on June 25th to, deceive, to see if the court was going to accept uh, the offer. Um, and what SIG is doing is it's, uh, so for owners of the 320, and I'll read it real quick, uh, we're going we're gonna to fall into one of three categories. All right, so, and I'll have a link down below to this as well, because if you own a 320, this involves you. <clears throat> so it says, what is the lawsuit about? A proposed nationwide settlement has been preliminarily approved in a class action lawsuit involving Sig Sauer's P320 pistol. The class action lawsuit claims that 320 pistols manufactured before August 8th of 2017 were defectively designed because the design allegedly allows the pistol to discharge 
where the pistol slide and barrel are in a locked condition due to the absence of a mechanical disconnector. The lawsuit further contends that the value and utility of these firearms have been diminished as a result of these alleged defects. Uh, defendant denies the allegations and any wrongdoing. The parties agreed to resolve this matter before these issues were decided by a court. Who's included? Okay, again, this is those of us who own them in three categories. The settlement provides benefits to all persons who currently own a 320 pistol who fall into one of these categories. Category 1, current 320 owners who have not previously experienced a cartridge failure event or who did previously experience a cartridge failure event but did not previously return their 320 pistol to Sig Sauer for repair. So if you have one and it wasn't upgraded, it didn't update, even though it hasn't gone off on its own, this is you're in category one uh, with me for my, my first version. Category two, current and former owners of the P320 pistols who previously returned their pistol to Sig Sauer after a cartridge failure event and were told that their pistol could not be repaired. And category three, current and former owners of the P320 pistols who previously returned their pistol to Sig Sauer after a cartridge failure event and were charged for the pistol to be repaired. What does this settlement provide? All settlement class members who continue to own their 320 pistol receive a transferable Sig Sauer limited lifetime warranty against any future cartridge failure events resulting from the use of appropriate ammunition. Additionally, settlement class members in Category 1 who previously experienced a cartridge failure event but did not previously return their P320 pistol for repair may have the pistol repaired at no cost to the class member. Settlement class members in Category 1 whose 320 pistols have not been upgraded may also participate in Sig Sauer's voluntary upgrade program at no cost to the class member. Category 2, settlement class members have the option to receive either one, a refund of the greater of the original price paid for their P320 with proof of purchase or the manufacturer's suggested retail price for their specific version, or two, a new P320 pistol in the same or similar version to the extent permitted by state and local law. And category three, settlement class members will be refunded any money paid to Sig Sauer for repair of their P320 pistol, including any shipping cost incurred. How do you get settlement benefits? You submit a claim form. Claim forms can be found at sigsauer.com slash Hartley, and I'll have that link down below for you, or by calling 1-888-772-2335. Then it says that the uh, the court will hold a hearing on June 25th, which was uh, a week and a half ago, to consider whether the uh, uh, to approve the settlement and request for attorney's fees and expenses of up to $850,000, plus a payment of $1,400, to $2,800 for each named plaintiff. Uh, so if you weren't one of the 100 plus uh, people who were named in this lawsuit, you're not getting that $1,400 to $2,800. So I can see everybody's eyes light up. But the chances are you fall into one of these categories. Um, so if you have one, I would contact SIG, ask them if your serial number falls in this area. Um, so yeah, then that's not me. I didn't sue them. I'm not slandering them. This is an actual lawsuit that I'm making you aware of. Uh, so. Take that for what it's worth. Now, Sig's also saying on uh, in this lawsuit here, this uh, not the one I talked about yesterday, this one here, um, that the up, the voluntary upgrade program there was a disconnector that was installed as well. Now, Sig is claiming that the pistol is drop safe and that this uh, disconnector just further enhanced the drop safety. However, there are still alleged incidences happening uh, and up right up through June of 2020 that were mentioned in yesterday's lawsuit that I talked to you about. So I just want everybody to be aware and to make an educated decision, okay? Does that mean the gun's gonna blow up in your hand? Uh, I don't know, probably not, more than likely not. But is it enough for me to change my mind on whether I'm carrying that gun on a daily basis? Yes, it is, uh, because uh, I don't want to have that, however slim that opportunity is, I'm not I'm not taking that chance uh, you know of, of me bending over and the gun going off in the holster like it did with Mr. Gway you know when he rotated the holster the, the gun in the holster what's going to happen shoot behind me and hit one of my kids in the back seat I, I'm just not taking that chance um, it, and I just want to see how it shakes out with this I'm not saying that SIG makes terrible stuff absolutely not is there a, an obvious issue that multiple lawsuits have resulted from yeah it there is so if that makes you upset Sorry, that's not me. That's that's sick. 
All right, guys. Uh, so again, a second lawsuit. This one has a settlement. You may be involved in that one, depending on when your firearm was made. And for those who are asking, does it affect this version, say Legion or X Carry stuff like that? I don't know. Um, you would have to ask Sig for that, and I, I just don't know. Uh, I don't know if you, the answer you're going to get might make you feel better. I'm not sure. Um, but as, if it's on the 320 system, then probably has the same internals. So just take that for what it's worth. I mean, I'm just thinking out loud. I'm not saying your gun is going to go on a shooting spree all by itself when you're, when you're uh, you know, tucked away in your bed. But the operating system, there's a concern. And until that concern, I just don't trust it at the moment. And that's just me. But um, I'm just trying to get the information out to you all so that you don't get hurt. Until we see each other again, my friends, please be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a weapon. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.